bad bosses are not bad people. So I started talking about this yesterday and yesterday I said it's a lack of career progression, a lack of career path. We put people who do not want to be people leaders into these roles because there is no alternative if we want to give them a, a pay rise. We have to make them a people leader and that's just crazy. Devastating for the team, devastating for the person and when the person leaves it's devastating for the organisation. The other thing we need to do if we think we have bad bosses in our organisation is define what good leadership looks like. Now remember there's no one size fits all. What good leadership looks like in your organisation may be quite different to another organisation. Now yes there'll be some common characteristics and traits but it's going to depend on your industry, the um, age of the industry, uh, the size of the organisation, um, culture, geographic location, etc. So we have to define what good leadership looks like. And this is the point where I don't usually do this, but I do recommend bringing in an external facilitator that can help ensure that the existing bosses in the organisation don't see this as a witch hunt. Don't see this as someone coming along, defining good leadership and saying, well, you're not up to it, you're gone. This is giving everyone an opportunity to grow and develop and be a better leader as a result of it. But you have to define what good leadership looks like, because the next thing you're going to need to do is take stock. Now, I googled define good leadership a few days ago and it came up with 3,640,000,000 results. So hey, there's a lot of good guidance out there about you know how to become a, a better leader, but you really have to define what that looks like for you first.